Super Mario. Okay, hold on a second. Who else? There was somebody else who was counterpicking Dr. Mario. It, it, it was No, Coltman. never mind. That was that was Coltman himself <laughs> yeah. counterpacking Dr. Mario against Louis. Jesus. Are we going to have the Dr. <laughs> Ditto? A few months ago. We might have a Dr. Ditto. There is a universe where if... Uh, if Nuggets, I feel like if Nuggets wins this game, we might get the Doc Ditto. If he loses this game, we also might get the Doc Ditto. Just, just for that like power. I will say, Doctor Mario Ditto's one of my favorite Ditto's in the entire game. Yeah. I think it's it's great. It's hilarious. I I love the pill. Like the fact that the pill just like bounces in such a weird way. It's, it's such an interesting projectile. Ooh. Now, thoughts on this matchup? I mean, one thing is, how is... Because normally, the weakest part of Dr. Mario is the recovery. How is Snake going to punish that recovery? I mean, a Nikita can probably do it. Maybe even just a grenade to catch him off guard. What? I, how does Nikita interact with uh, Mark to Mario Tornado? I actually think that Dr. Mario Tornado might beat it. And down tilt to up B. Just Ew. brutally ending Coltman's sock there. That was gross. Oh, he's gone. Oh, oh no, he's not. Yes, he's it is. Yeah, he's gone. It has what too much end lag. <laughs> it's, it's Dr. Mario. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you fast fall off stage. It's that's that's it. That's your life. Yeah. That's the way, you know, the what is it? Embrace death, samurai showdown. <laughs> Just trying to use their own grenades against them. Just throwing out those nares. <gasps> That's bold. Just going for those edge guards against Snake. These pills, you were saying how they have such weird angles, but yeah. yet somehow they're very consistently, it feels like, blocking the grenades. Yeah, they are. Oh. He's dead. Wow. There's that, that up B smash? again. Was that, that was up, up B. Smash or B? Okay. Because they were in the air, I think. Oh, okay. I, I trust your eyes. Well, okay. Oh. I, I was thought we were going to see how that was those interacted, but the down B actually came out too early, and so that just meant his, his stock got absolutely blown away there. I mean, you could say that is how they interact, because you can sort of stall mm. out the Nikita. Or rather, the Nikita can stall out the Dr. Mario. Yes, that's yeah, what. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wow, you're right. Those grenades <laughs> just getting well, hit by the pills. But that was actually really smart because the grenade there blocked the pill when that pill was part of uh, the ledge trap that I think Nuggets was Ooh. able to set up. You're right. Great. I love that forward tilt option. That was probably <gasps> the only fast thing he could go for there. Oh, he's alive. Everyone's alive. Oh. Catching the landing. Hit yeah, him with snake. the cranium. Yeah, so what was that? He tried to go for a back air, right? Mm -hmm. um, correct? Yes. Uh, and that's just like a really good option. The fact that Mario's head just... Dr. Mario's head just doesn't care. Because normally late back air is... Or no, by then the actual the, the move had ended. Mm -hmm. That was and just a good... Landing yeah, animation. just good reaction on Nuggets' part. Yeah. Wow. We, we went from a really close game to with Fast Cree versus Player 4 to already a very close game one between Coltman and Nuggets. This is not going to be good for my blood pressure. <laughs> Embrace it. Honestly, I, I, I mean, I obviously, I love it when this sort of, when we have these sorts of matches. Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes for great content. Oh, and, yeah. I mean, I bet they're very fun to play. It's what I, for me personally, it's what I live for. It's better than yeah. crack. Last hit games, better than crack. <laughs> True. Uh, oh. Oh, you cape. We hadn't seen cape yet. Yeah, that's actually first usage we've oh, yeah. seen this entire set. That took a whole oh, extra yeah. game. He had no jump, and now that's Nikita. Oh. Great recovery. Yeah, especially because Dr. Mario is one of those characters with <gasps> such a... So smart. Oh. He's so and, dead. Mm, that's got to hurt. Especially because... Coltman's only taken 30%. This is not looking good. I mean, but in a way, that's kind of to be expected. 
against Doc, you know? If anything, we were kind of, it was kind of strange how we didn't have any really cheeky edge guards like that in the last game. Mm -hmm. uh, and that yeah. was just, honestly, it was just well played on Coleman's part. It was like he was studying, expecting, and just covering the options he needed to. Oh, defibrillate him. But I mean, we might see a, not even early kill, but we might see those stocks get brought back to pretty close to even, even in percent pretty soon if this damage just keeps going like this. <gasps> oh. oh. They almost had it. Oh, just that trying to find, stage. trying to find that answer. Dr. Mario ha did have to get through med school, so they do know how to get those answers at least. But at the very least, cheat. Yes. <laughs> oh. Speaking of cheating. That was, it's cheating when you're uh, when your opponent miss inputs. Hot take. <laughs> oh, oh no! That's another one. Yeah, these mm. edge guards looking totally different from game one. We did see one of those in game one, but not at nearly at the level of consistency that we're seeing oh. it now. I can't believe that they low profile through the crawl. I think that, yeah. Just. That crawl is just so crazy to me. The fact that it can low profile so well. The conversion. Uh, PSA, yeah, C4 was on the top, was on the left platform over there. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it is our, as commentators, it is our duty to give uh, reminder PSAs on the location of C4. Mm -hmm. And generally, Snake players will put it on a platform because that, especially ones like Battlefield, because most characters are tall enough to be able to get hit by. A C4 that's on the platform, even throw on the ground. Ooh. This is not looking good because this is almost a full stock lead. Uh. And C4 is on that right platform right now. We're right at the edge, so if Nuggets is able to get back in time. Oh, there's that dock neutral air. Notable oh. for the fact that it's stronger the longer it stays out, as opposed to pretty much every other neutral air in the game. Interesting. I actually did not know that. Uh, yeah, it is like that sort of, you know, it's that, you know, kick, but it's strongest at the end of it. Hmm. Oh, put that C4 stick oh, on right he's now. So he's, he's gone. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh he shields it. He's alive? And that's Max Rage Doc. This is the scariest version of Dr. Mario out there. And Dr. Mario, okay, that should be it. He's 1% away. Mm -hmm. No, he's not. It doesn't have to be 160 in order for... Uh, I thought I it think was 160. So, I think so he so. was actually 1% away, but I guess he didn't actually buffer the option that he needed to. Yeah. But wow, that was a much more dominant game, too, from Coltman. Like... It was not looking like the same person at all. All right. Yeah. Now, I do think that that game ended up being pretty, pretty good for Coltman. Yes. But it feels like the neutral game on the whole has been benefiting Nuggets. And yes. what made the big difference in that game, obviously, with these really big edge guards. Mm -hmm. So as we're moving into game three, it's basically the win condition for Coltman is one stock grants up off stage. And when he isn't getting killed at like 50, he's living to 150, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's showing that as long as Nuggets... Oh, and they're going back to that same... Or no, not to that same stage, but this is... Game one. A stage that actually... On this. Yeah. You do see a lot of snakes like this stage as well. Yeah, and which is kind of interesting. I guess that it means that he's not expecting to play a very campy, long-range game plan if he's chosen to go to uh, Smashville here. Yeah. Because that platform, just, like that one platform in the center, is just a great placement for Snake in general. Oh. Not so bad for Doc either, though. Oh, That's true. That forward air is so meaty. Oh, no. Okay. That's really smart there. Using that because the Nikita will actually uh, disable if you hit it. You can shield to get out of it and the hitbox will come back. But if they don't do that. Oh, in time. Oh. What? 
<laughs> that was so good. Uh, the runaway this, Nikita. The, this, the amount of options that he covered and then the things that he didn't cover last time somehow covered in the future. <laughs> Just playing 10 timelines in advance. <laughs> All right, now we already have 50% onto Nuggets. Coltman sitting at a, what is honestly a pretty healthy 107. Mm -hmm. I mean, granted, Doc can kill super duper early in these. He can definitely die to a lot of his moves, but you're not necessarily panicking right now. Yeah, because you're sort of already in the kill range of Dr. Mario, and for the most part, a lot of Doc's kill options are ones that start early. You know, so... A lot of that extra damage, for the most part, effectively just becomes more rage. And not really as... Uh, ooh. And speaking oh. of more rage, this is almost max rage, so... And once again, goes for that air dodge option, but... It, because, oh man, the fact that Dr. Mario, all of his extra recovery tools, just put him in so much lag that Coltman is able to just threaten him, force him to expend one of them, and just punish him on the backswing. Mm -hmm. 36 There's damage. That. Why? Why does that move? Ooh. Ooh. I love how Snake's Nair is just a Tatsu. Oh. Wow, living to 175 against Dr. Mario. This is unheard of. Well, it's most of the damage that's been tapped on to him has been like, oh, there we go. That's how he... <laughs> nobody kills me except me. <laughs> or I guess, yeah, nobody kills me except me. That's a good snake voice, actually. Thank you. I was, I was, I was surprised. It's impressive. And <laughs> speaking of impressive, give him the splits. Hmm. That's going to end that set. Coleman did a very good job adapting there. And the moment they switched to Smashville, it's just, thank you. This is my time. <sighs> yeah, I feel like if that, that game won. Kind of Nuggets was allowed to do what he wanted off stage for the most part. And then by the end of that set, that was not the case. I mean, mm -hmm. Look at this. Ah, I love this. He, he managed to dodge it beautifully. No, he didn't. Psych. Ooh, that was... Yeah, that avoid... They've been doing a really good job avoiding the Nikitas, but just like with um, Gordo Ramsey, you know, setting up those would-you-rather uh, situations, um, the Coltman sort of started doing that around the end, but... With Snake, it's a lot more threatening because you could die a lot earlier to Nikita 